couple of weeks ago, my father was looking for a home automation system for his place. And of course, I recommended Home Assistant to look into it. I was ready. And then finally, he looked into it, he liked it, and now he is fully, fully sold. I love the fact because now we can tinker together, which is so cool. Uh, so he approached me the other day for guidance if I knew a good light sensor to sense light, luminance inside of the, of the home to steer certain automations with it. And that reminded me of a pain point that I have with my home assistant here installation because I don't have any light sensors and yeah, I don't like it. My motion sensors that I have uh, don't deliver any light information and he told me that he even got some motion sensors now that have and deliver light information, but if there's no motion update, they also won't update the, the light information or just very infrequently, which is not suitable for his application cases and, and neither would uh, be for mine. So there is a need for a light sensor. There are those really great tiny PCBs that are ESP home uh, enabled because they have a ESP8266, for example, on them, they have on the other side uh, USB-C and that's it. And you can connect whatever you want and connect and transform it into a sensor of your own and then hook it up with your home assistant entity very easily. And as a matter of fact, a light sensor is actually a very simple sensor that you can build yourself. It only comprises of an LDR, which is a light dependent resistor, for example, and a resistor forming a voltage divider between the light sensor or sensing element, the LDR and the resistor. Yeah, and then you divide the incoming voltage through those two resisting elements and then in the middle you, you tap it and you get the resulting voltage and that you can transform very easily and not so very easily, but easily um, even in, inside of ESP Home into a, for example, a, a luminance uh, value, which is lux. Um, and that's exactly what I built, which I have hanging here. That's it. That's the light sensor. That's the sensing part. It's completely uncovered to um, make it more visible. But that's it. There's a resistor, there's an LDR, and three wire uh, cable connected to power supply, which is 3.3 volt in this case, ground, and an analog sensing pin, and that's it. And now let's have a look how this is looking uh, and how this, how this is then done in ESP Home to get the sensing value out of this resistor constellation and then transform it into a luminance value. So I will skip over the setup things that are necessary in any ESP Home um, project. This can actually go. And then that's the sensor part. Yeah, you need an ADC, which is giving you the raw voltage that is measured in between the light sensing element and the resistor. And then you have this resistance platform here that is doing the calculation based on this voltage and based on the input knowledge of what other resistor you have hooked up against the LDR and gives you the, the resistance level of the LDR. And then you can even go further because that is only an ohm and is not really helping you. You can go further and use a filter here to um, calibrate the linear values of the measured resistance and convert it into looks. So I name here the device class with uh, which is uh, illuminance and it's a measurement state class and then the unit of measurement is lux which is a light intensity unit. And then and now this is the conversion matrix or the conversion list of values that I eyeballed now, so this is not very precise, but you can go really over the edge and make it as precise as you want, and convert the different resistor values on the left and convert them then into lux values on the right. So for example, so as you can see, this is an inverted relationship. So the smaller the resistance value, the higher the light intensity that has to do with how the LDR works and how the uh, resistor bridge is set up. And a very low resistance value here of 10 ohm gives me uh, an estimated light intensity of 800 lux. 
Not sure this is actually correct, but uh, it works for me for now. And then the further down you go, uh, even up to something like uh, 32k uh, value is then a very small lux value. And now heading over to or headed over to Home Assistant, you can see um, that I have connected it, and you, as you can see, Home Assistant is picking up that this is a luminance sensor value. And if I now hold my sensor, which is actually live and running, into my relatively bright light here, there should be at some point an increase uh, of values. In the meantime, I will just hold the sensor up here in the air like a, as if I'm a stupid idiot. But I mean, I'm, I'm sitting on a swing, so what can I do? There's only so much you can do on a swing. Or maybe I press update, huh? Ah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. I was under the impression that it updated earlier automatically. Now it didn't. So there you have the higher value currently that is estimated as about uh, 350 lux, which could be actually. It's not so far off, I would say. Maybe it's a bit high. Probably. I need a, a proper light sensor to compare it to. And that was already it for this video. It's, it was a quick one, but rightfully so, as it highlights once again what a cool system ESP Home is, especially if it is bundled together with Home Assistant. You define a sensor like this, you customize it, you connect it to Home Assistant and it works out of the box. Home Assistant picks up the measurement units, the type of the sensor, the, the displaying is then done just like that and it works and it's so cool and I love it. And in particular also I love the swing. Maybe I, you know, sit here more often now. And if you also like the swing and you like as well what I did here, it would be so highly appreciated if you could express that by hitting the thumbs up because that is, that is kind of the rewarding, you know, element that rewards the creators for doing those videos and it's it's such a little action for you but it gives so much warmth and and love to to me and i would be so grateful if you do that it was a bit more quiet the last weeks because there was a lot of going on in my other life but uh, now i'm back and there will be more videos soon very soon actually a couple of things are laying here behind me, but um, we're not going into that. I want to end this video, so have a good one. See you in the next one. I'm your Bushy, over and out. Bye.